Let us first find the power dissipated when one cell is connected, P1. Since the resistors are in series, their effective resistance is uppercase R plus lowercase r. There is potential V across them, so to find P1, we can use the formula P equals V squared over R. Now the second cell is added. The potential difference across the resistors are not necessarily the same as before, so we first need to find these potential differences. Where V1 is the potential difference across the resistor with resistance uppercase R, and V2 is the potential difference across the resistor with resistance lowercase r. Let's label one of the junctions S. Let the current through the resistor with lowercase r resistance be I. By the symmetry of the problem, the same current flows through the other resistor of resistance lowercase r. Then by Kirchhoff's current law test, there is a current of 2I through the resistor of resistance uppercase r. Expressing the current at test using Ohm's law, we get 2I equals V1 over uppercase r, and I equals V2 over lowercase r. By Kirchhoff's voltage law for either of the loops in the circuit, V equals V1 plus V2. We can use these three equations to eliminate V1 and V2 to find I in terms of V, uppercase R, and lowercase r. P2 is then the sum of I squared R for each component in the circuit. Since we have expressions for P1 and P2, and we know their ratio, we can find the ratio of uppercase R over lowercase r.